All right, this is uh, Lucas from Tech Power Math, and I'm at the Texas Instruments T3 conference in Chicago, where I'm with uh, Maya Bialik, uh, who's one of the stars of the CBS hit comedy, Big Bang Theory, and thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. My pleasure. Um, yesterday, there was the announcement that you're now a spokesperson for Texas Instruments. Um, why partner with TI, and what do you hope to accomplish? Um, I don't know what made them think of me, but um, I've been thinking about TI for about 20 years, because... <laughs> I got my first Texas Instruments graphing calculator about 20 years ago. I used it all through high school, I used it through college, I used it in grad school. Um, I am a public person who is a scientist. I do play one on TV, and I think, um, you know, we were saying, I don't know that a, perf a more perfect partnership could have been crafted, um, especially because so much of this appeal is to young people to have someone that they know from television um, talking about STEM, you know, talking about science and technology and, and math. Um, it, it's just an amazing opportunity for me. I'm a young mom. Um, I mean, I think I'm young. I'm, I'm a mom of young kids. Um, I teach as well. I'm still very um, immersed in this kind of science and technology and math world. And um, it's just an amazing opportunity, especially to reach kids, um, to put a normalized face on Texas Instruments, on their products, um, and on a lifestyle. So you had mentioned you use a graphing calculator for, from Texas Instruments right. for many years. Right. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you had and how mm -hmm. that influenced your, your learning? Um, I had the TI-81. My husband had the TI-82 in high school. So we met in college. It's a mixed marriage as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, um, you know, that was, it was the standard. It was the industry standard then and it still is now. It's how you got through all of your math. Um, it's what we used on all of our exams through college. Um, I used it into graduate school, and I think you know how much more important now for kids today that are so used to a ton of technology, a ton of distractions. Um, I'm not going to say that attention spans have shifted because of technology. However, the fact that this new Inspire is in color, um, that it looks so user friendly to the palate, you know, of a teenager especially. Um, I think it makes it that much more powerful a tool. The fact that it can do things faster, it can create visuals of abstract concepts that normally do take a long time. Kids are used to things really fast, and if the concept can be taught and visualized quickly, that's what we need. Um, I'm sure there's some people who are going to see this interview that don't realize that in real life you, you hold the same mm. PhD in neuroscience as your Big Bang character, uh, Amy Farrah Fowler. Um, is your portrayal of Amy influenced by your experiences as a, as a scientist? Uh, yes. So, um, you know, when I auditioned for Big Bang Theory, they basically wanted a female Sheldon. I mean, that was literally all I was told um, for the audition. So, um, when I was first cast, we didn't know what Amy did for a living. It was one scene in a coffee shop, and um, I was more working towards the sort of social and behavioral profile as this character. But then when they made her a neurobiologist, um, it allowed a lot more levels, a lot more layers to her. And I base her on not just the women that I know in academia, but, but the men as well. Um, I know someone like every single one of those Big Bang Theory characters for sure, ten times over. Um, I also know a lot of, you know, professors and scientists who look like models, you know? Um, so it, it really, it runs the gamut. Um. Being that the Big Bang Theory is a show about scientists, does it, do you feel like that presents you with opportunities mm -hmm. to talk about scientists that uh, maybe you wouldn't have with a, a typical family sitcom role? Yeah, I think it's really special as a scientist to be on a show, not only that is about nerds and geeks and is about science, but such, a, such an intelligent show where our writers and producers value so strongly the accuracy of our science and our math. We have a um, a physics consultant, um, Dr. Salzberg from UCLA. Um, part of the reason that Bill Prady says that he made me a neurobiologist was because I could correct things, um, you know, that needed to be fixed, which, um, you know, I am the only person on the cast who, you know, is a, a true scientist and nerd. <laughs> um, but I think it's really special how accurate we are, and I think that's part of why it has such an amazing following among people like that. Um, you're obviously interacting with a lot of math and science teachers uh, during your time here at the conference. Um, what's your message to them? Um, you know, 
I, I'm not in the trenches the way all these amazing, amazing educators are, but I think, um, you know, if I can excite people with a new tool, um, if I can put a positive face on it for their students, um, that's good. But, you know, um, they know far more than I do. You know, I'm not a trained teacher. I'm a trained doctorate in neuroscience. I'm an actor. Um, but I think, you know, to tell my story that it took one teacher to really open my mind, open my world to science. Uh, I was 15 years old. She was a young dental student. Um, I needed her. I needed that personality. And we don't know who we're going to touch and how. And that's why we put ourselves out there. Uh, what about the students that you encounter? What, what do you say to them about learning math and science? Um, I was interviewed by a little scholastic reporter um, who's, uh, I think she was in maybe seventh grade, and she asked me the same question. She said, what, you know, what do you want to tell us? I said, science and math is cool. It's cool to see the world this way. Um, you may not think you care now what job you're going to have, but to have a foundation to open your mind to understanding this kind of thing it's a gift you, you will never regret giving yourself. It takes all kinds of people to run the world. It takes actors, and it takes lawyers and doctors and teachers. Um, it takes artists, but um, to have the ability to see the world this way is, is phenomenal. Um, last question. Uh, you're a mom of, of two young boys. Mm -hmm. um, what effect does that have on your decision to get involved in promoting math and science education? Um, Gosh, we still have our TI-81, you know, it's, our boys already love to, to use it, to work with it. Um, we're not huge on technology for little kids, but the exception is the Texas Instruments <laughs> Calculator. Um, it's, it's a fascinating way to raise children with um, an awareness of the world that's more than pretty things. The world is complicated and it's beautiful, um, but as a parent, to be able to be part of, of this kind of movement, I know it's going to mean so much to my kids. I can't wait until they're old enough to start working with it. That's what nerdy parents do. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. I really Thank appreciate you. it.